All right, hello and welcome, folks. And uh, so I'm going to begin my conquest of the Americas in a little bit here. I'm going to kind of wait till everybody dies. Then that'll convert them all by the sword. Um, yeah. And as I was saying, that is not, in a lot of cases, how uh, conversion happened in some countries. And certainly not in Iran and uh, India. Although I would imagine the BJP government under uh, Modi there, which is a uh, Hindu nationalist type government, uh, would disagree with that and be very unhappy with me because they've made various laws that make it harder to con they make it easy to convert back, quote unquote, back to uh, Hindu from Islam, but make it very hard uh, to convert forth, you might say, to another. Uh, or even out anything out of Hindu, you like, have to have some like documents and like it has to be registered. Like there's there's a bunch of like the government favors you converting to Hin uh, Hinduism, but does not favor you uh, uh, reverting or uh, converting outside of Hinduism, which is pretty funny because a lot of people assume that uh, India is this like very developed uh, democracy. You know, and they would never do anything like this, but that's that's quite simply not true. Uh, there are very strong um, Hindu nationalist uh, forces, and they because they're stronger now than they ever were because Modi's been on top for what the last eight years or something like that. So, like BJP, that used to be like uh, its forerunner anyway was like an outsider party, like with no real power in the government. Uh, and it has become a real force, obviously, because it has a prime ministership. Um, like Indira Gandhi's government, uh, uh, Jawal, J Jawal, I can't remember, Nehru's government, like he was uh, assiduously against that, although the definition of uh, secularism was not uh, distance from religion, it was cl equal closeness with all religions, which of course is tough to do, because that tends to be unequal no matter how you slice it. Good, we got peace with him, but he's not gonna be, ha he's not gonna be looking for us to uh, have open borders. Uh, but luckily Lady has open borders with us, and she does not have theocracy. We want to avoid that theocracy. That's the worst one. Once they got theocracy, you're totally effed. Hi. You want to have open borders? No. Don't like you enough, right? Let's see why the hell not. Okay, yeah, give me your money because I don't want your, uh, your die because I have die. I'm just too lazy to get it as of yet. But yeah, interesting how that happened. man here and our bad health so let's build an aqueduct up let's see if we can get the health a little bit better here unfortunately that's not going to do as much good for a while uh, the uh, Islamic uh, whatever monastery because we can't get open borders with anybody if you can't get open borders you can't convert anybody to anything right so I'm going to put this musket man over here make sure we've got good protection Oh wow! Oh, there's no, there's no Delhi. It's been destroyed. Wow. Okay. Well, now we got to build a settler. I was not aware of that, so uh, we had better, we better do it. Uh, okay. Next building we build. Next building. Next unit we build in one of our production cities will be a settler. Yeah, Samarkand is a good city, as you can see. It has access to a lot of stuff. It also has the misfortune of falling under tons of barbarian attacks. Wait till all my guys are good to go here. Wait till we're done with the plague. Although if you wanna come up and fight, I guess you could do that. Kinda of waste your dudes, if you ask me. 
I guess it's good to be aggressive. Except in that case, huh? Right. Yeah, I don't want any of my guys to get hurt from the plague. Doesn't look like the, uh, the Aztecs are gonna get plagued up at all, which is usually what happens when they come into contact with the, uh, with the Europeans. Anyway, they shouldn't be too much trouble. They are on the hill, which of course makes them a royal pain in the rear end to fight with uh, when they're defending. But they, it's not like they have long bowmen. Oh, we got the map, that was cool. So you can see Rome there is independent. That's a good town to seize, but you should probably avoid all, whoa, look at the Vikings all the way down there to Brest-Litovsk. They, they take that from the Germans? I suppose they must have. Wow. That's, that's interesting. Yeah. I mean, I, hopefully soon I'll switch off uh, Christianity here. Or switch to Christianity so that I can get open borders with these schlubs. But a lot of them look like they're going to collapse because they're all frowning out big time, you know? Which, you know, I'm happy about. Can't say I'm going to cry about it. Ooh, I didn't want to make a settler. Hopefully we'll keep the peace with the lousy Turks because they could become a serious issue. No, we're not at war? Well, if we're not at war, then that's fine. Aha. So yeah, we can make like, look at Bombay right there, or Mumbai if you prefer. I prefer Bombay because that was what it was called when the Great Tiger came from there to kick my butt at, uh, at uh, what's his name? Punch out. So that's all I base it on, pretty much. That's what I called it. So I didn't even know it was Mumbai uh, until I heard it one time. Like, oh no, that's but what they call Bombay now. It's like, oh okay. Because yeah, I understand that that's not the Mumbai is like the original thing, or they think it's the original thing, and that uh, Bombay was like a Portuguese corruption of the actual name for it. Which you know, fair enough, fair enough. But I prefer to call it uh, Bombay. So there you go. I was hoping I'd get a, I don't know why I'd get a double promotion, but I was hoping I'd get a double promotion so I could uh, take it on up to super status there. All right, I'll let all that run its course for a bit. Yeah, these guys are unplagued, which that's lame. Man, I can't buy a vowel these days. You know, 76%. And they still lose. I like it how it gives you some, like, Jaguar units or whatever, basically, to show that, um, you know, there were a lot of natives who actually sided with the Spanish. Because, you know, the, the what's-his-faces were not the best overlords you could have, since they made you give your people for... Uh, human sacrifice, which, you know, I don't like that. Uh, maybe I'll use him for his research in a bit. Because I don't have any more temples to build. That's it. We got all the temples we need. And then if we seize, uh, there's a temple over there at the far end of, uh, or there's a, a religious founding city at the far end of uh, India here that we're going to want to take. And that will be... Uh, but they'll already have it there. I don't need the, the great profit to build it. Ooh, man, I need uh, a couple more workers here for poor Al Qaeda. All right. I always need more military units. Because if we fall under attack, that'll put a damper on our current progress. This is a good city. And you're darn right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it and love it. All right, the rest of you jerks are gonna head back to Kandahar to get ready for our next uh, phase of the offensive. Yeah, taking Italy is pretty. Uh, Pretty attractive, uh, but I'm not gonna do it. I mean, like I said, we're already probably killing our stability pretty well. So, okay, they're done with the plague. 
All right. Beginneth the attack. these I actually want to keep. They're not great. Being the, uh, I don't know if I tried to win with the Incas or not. I, I know I won with the Aztecs because I got the video on here. And that stinks that also I lost my uh, oh, what's his face in the battle didn't I? Lost my cannon. It was like a 75% chance of victory too, which is rather irritating. You doing? Yeah. Who game does this thing? We're only losing one square and it's like not nah, Oh, he failed. You failure. Maybe you didn't Islam strong enough, dude. Maybe if your faith were better, that would have worked. Now we have to burn you at the stake. Oh, well. Well, actually, his unit... I'm guessing we did burn him at the stake because his unit winks out of existence. So, yeah. I'll have to build that courthouse. I need to build some defense. I need to build a caravel to come over here and kind of patrol my waters. So I will do that. Ah, perfect timing. Two turns, not bad. Not too bad, two turns. Let's build another missionary. All right, stop war, sure. I say we stop all the wars. It'll be great. Peace, that's what we need. Oh, that's bad. A plague kill me, they're my diseases. Oh well, whatever. Oh, okay, are we ready to move out, boys? No. No, we're not. Guess we don't need to be in too much of a hurry. Oh, it killed my boy on the boat. I know it could do that. Well, whatever. All right, come back to. Come back home. Jeez, I didn't realize it worked like that. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, live and learn, right? Man, Jerusalem is uh, pretty sweetly set up now. Although, we could use a work boat there. Ah! Hostile Village, there's only two of them, so that's not really gonna be a problem. But the Indian uh, subcontinent is a great place to have cities, especially if you're looking to increase Islam, because, like, the towns will grow huge. You know, just like in real life. You know, there's a, a great population on the Indian subcontinent, right? So. Okay, well, I'm glad to see everybody at peace now. All right, what do we got here? Jaguar, Jaguar. Okay. Does it catch a warrior? Okay. It's like an axeman, kind of. All right, I'm just going to wait another turn. There's no rush on this one. I mean, we could take our time taking stuff over, I suppose. Where are we building that settler at? Okay, right there, good. We just need to be ready for those Turks just in case they uh, get antsy and decide they're the, the masters of Islam, you know? Um, and want to fight us for that distinction. Um, let's see, what the hell is it going to, oh, I was going to patrol the waters with that. You need a work boat. You need a couple of work boats, actually. Very good. Oh, you need a work boat, too, for your uh, stuff over there. Okay, there's our, there's our settler. Get me a musket, man. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think this is going to, provided these places don't collapse off the end of the earth, which they very well might. No, I don't need that. Excuse me. One second. We're at one ability. Okay, let's build a madrasa. Could use more brains. Uh oh. We better hurry up. We better, because the culture is killing us there. Last thing we want is for our town to flip over without a fight. Rather embarrassing. Uh, wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of copper you've got there, jerk. Okay. Yeah, the pikemen are pretty useless because uh, there's no, just true to life, because there's no horses in the old world, or the new world, so. Yeah, I'll keep this one. There's no horses in the new world, so there's no mounted units until, until you know, the Conqueror's event happens. 
which is pretty. Uh, and there's no corn actually in the old world either, so it's kind of neat, I think. All right. Most of this land is within our zone, but now that we're taking all this American land, yeah, it's not. Not gonna be great for our stability. I can tell you that. Not gonna be great for our stability. All right. There's the site of the old town. It's a great town site. What can I say? I mean, you guys did a good job. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right. Let's now. All right. Let's do a good job this time, Mister. Mister. Uh, Mister Missionary. Better do a better job in your position as a missionary. Ha ha! You get it? It's funny. All right. I'm not gonna attack him because I'm not at war with him yet. Uh, I believe I will be at war with him. All right. Uh, this is a dog soldier, so they're pretty annoying. And they're like, uh, they get an advantage against uh, melee units. Like us, like them. Um, just look at that, man. I think I'm gonna let the uh, the dog soldiers take a shot at him. Hopefully they take a shot at them, not a shot at me. See what happens. Stink. Oh my god, they got long bowmen? That stinks. Okay, so my <laughs> my uh, strategy for taking them over might have just went right down the, the poop chute right there. Uh, I don't know if I really have an answer for that. I think our uh, our force there might be in a lot of trouble. Okay. Might be in a lot of trouble, boys. But that's all right. I'm surprised I didn't know they were right at, that, right at the, uh, the very uh, cusp uh, of, uh, of getting those uh, gosh darn uh, long bowmen who make uh, taking a town such a pain in the butt, especially after I lost my only cannon. So, have better luck with these jerks, it looks like. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see him. Well, I wouldn't have done that had I, whoa. Bad luck all over the place, pretty much. Pretty much bad luck all over the place. Well, what are you gonna do? Still, things are going pretty well. But uh, not as exciting as the beginning of the game, of course. Let's see what do we got. Jeez. Okay. Maybe we better re re retreat back for a minute here. And we'll see if there's anything I can do. Yeah, see, it always wants to do that. That's so weird. He takes one step and he's like, all right, what do you want to do? There we go. All right. Oh, wow. A lot of these towns are unreligioned. Which is fantastic news for us. Because we have a fast way of getting that religion right to them. I could probably take France, but... It's not really... I don't think at this point it's a real priority. What do you think, France? You want to open borders with me? Yeah, not really. Which is too bad, because you, all, you have organized religion, not theocracy. Uh, so I could, if we were friends, if we could be friends, you know, we could, you know, could have open borders and enjoy friendship and cooperation as they, as they said in the other game. All right, what did I build? I built a work boat? All right, build yourself something nice. This is the time when we need to develop our darn cities. Although it also is a time where I need to conquer Axum. Okay, actually those are all, no, god dang it. Fine, you know what I'll do? I'll go ahead and put the, go ahead and do that. All the way up there, that's kind of a waste. 
But I already built. Oh no, I better not do that. Gosh darn it. Oh yeah, he's already working on the other one. All right, fine, 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 fine. Uh, let's heal up, lick our wounds. I don't know how you guys got elephants over here. Because I don't believe elephants are native to the uh, old world. They might be. I'm not sure, actually. There we go. And that'll be New Delhi. Let's go up to the non-religious place, which is... Uh, let me go even further. Let me go all the way up to Inverness. Because that's uh, even bigger. So the bigger the city, obviously, the bigger the impact. Well, a lot of these guys don't have religion yet. Are you sure you can't persuade yourself to be my friend? Because these cities are like, I'd be happy to spread Islam to them, if you don't mind. Yeah, can't believe they got freaking... No, I'm sorry, I can't give you the compass. But I can compliment your fine haircut. Oh, this dork right here, huh? So this guy, uh, he doesn't like us, but I haven't had a war with him, which is which is nice. Want to trade civil service for something? Nah, aesthetics. Pfft. A loser. I trade aesthetics for that. It's not a good trade. Why are you trying to Why are you trying to rip me off, bro? I thought we were bros. Just goes to show you. You know, there's a lot of. A lot of talk gets thrown around about being bros. Oh, the Japanese. Now, they will never give you open borders unless you have to kiss their butt in a significantly um, excessive fashion that I'm not willing to do at this time. Maybe later. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe when I'm in a more romantic mood with you. I'd be willing to do it, but uh, I really don't think uh, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to blow away their defenses here. Let's see, what do they got for defense? They got the Keisha Warrior, the Illinois Spearman. Okay. So close to Illinois here, down in Peru. And look at that, yeah. This is ripe for the Islam in Archa. And I think the Vikings as well are ripe for uh, conversion therapy. Ew, I shouldn't say that. That's, that's no laughing matter. Uh, but they're ripe for uh, conversion, how about that? Probably should have founded that one down. I could use that beautiful iron that is being wasted, as you can see right there. I need to convert this town as well, which we will in just a moment. So I've been working on, uh, no, you're all being very selfish and not working on spreading Islam around the world. If only you would strive after the divine like you do the profane would be a much better world. Amen. Okay, so anyway, I think that's amen for that turn. Excuse me, turn for watch, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.